How many different colors can you see? Feels like an endless possibility. Impossible to count them all, right? Well, if we want to represent colors digitally, we have to find a way of counting color. That is, for any given shade you can see, we need to give it a unique number or an address. Because numbers are something both humans and machines can agree on. One simple way we could do this is to give a percentage for each color value. We call this an RGB triple. For example, 100% red plus 100% green plus 100% blue is white. 0% red, 0% green, 0% blue is black. Whereas 100% red and 100% green, but 0% blue, is yellow. We saw this in lesson one. Mathematicians love to represent things geometrically or spatially. So they came up with the idea of a color space. It's quite simple. Normally, we represent a point in three-dimensional space using x, y, and z coordinates like this. But instead, let's rename the axes red, green, and blue. And that gives us this color cube. The key idea is this. Every point within this cube represents a specific color a projector or a computer monitor could create. So remember all those colors you were thinking about? Well, any specific color you're looking at will always be a point in this cube. To help this sink in, we have a color cube exercise that you can play with. Give it a try.